We are so excited to share with you about the amazing, incredible Venus cycle. It is so life changing. It's been life changing for each of us. I'm Kaylin Castell here with Sheridan Simple, and we're very excited to share with you what we have here for you today. So what we're going to be covering today is what Venus represents, what is the Venus cycle, how it works, how to work with it, the astro mythology that chronicles the Venus cycle, and then chakra healing with Venus as part of the journey. So Venus represents the divine feminine. Now, I know there are some ways astrologers look at Venus as being about uh, money and relationships. It, Venus is so much more than that. <laughs> so she represents an exploration of the divine feminine through many different archetypes and phases of the Venus cycle. And so there's archetypes of the feminine that aren't interested in relationships or money. They're interested in other things. So <laughs> we really cover that and look into that more deeply. And then Venus is not limited to concepts like, like I was just talking about romance, relationships, personal aesthetics, aesthetics, values around money and material possessions. It's just so much more. And then the other thing is to know that this is the sacred feminine archetype. It is, and there's many different expressions of her. This is the goddess in all her many aspects. And we could say, we, we, we often work with um, goddesses like Aphrodite and Kali and Inanna and Sekhmet and Hecate. Uh, and of course, all of the different signs that Venus can be in from Aries to Pisces, along with many other factors that determine what the Venus signature is. So following the Venus cycle is an initiatory journey, right? It's an exploration. It's an initiation cycle to go through every 19 months. It's about actively attuning to the divine feminine within and around you, right? As above, so below, as within, so without. Understanding the importance of working with both the sky and earth medicine, Learning to trust yourself and your intuition. I think this is like the most important thing that the Venus cycle provides for all of us in so many ways. Consciously participating in the rebirth of the sacred feminine in ways that benefit all life, right? We all want to be bringing that sacred feminine back online and participating in the Venus cycle is an amazing way to tune into that. So it helps with listening to the call or the invitation to reconnect with our ancestral ways of communing with the earth and sky, the way our ancestors did for millennia, right? That's still within us. Intentionally liberating blockages to your chakras and reclaiming your rightful power within each one. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. And discovering the ancient power of working ceremonially with Venus individually, along with the exponential power of the collective, right? So ancient people worked with the Venus cycle in collective together, and that's what we do at Venus Alchemy. It's so exciting that we get to bring this back into uh, a practice that has been kind of off the world stage for millennia, many millennia. And so one of the things that we're very conscious of is that there are four phases of the Venus cycle. And it begins with the morning star phase. We'll go into more details about each of these phases in a moment. Then Venus travels with the sun for two or three months in the underworld, rises into the evening sky and is in her evening star phase. And then she goes retrograde, goes um, reconnects with the sun for a really quick time in what we call the metamorphic underworld. And these phases, you are, everyone is born into one of these phases and that has significance and importance in understanding the overall expression of Venus that we're here to work with. So here's just some images to start to understand where Venus is in this, these phases, right? So morning star, you can see Venus is in the morning sky, hence morning star ahead of the sunrise. And you can see a picture here on the right, right? Venus in the sky ahead of the sunrise. This is what it looks like in the sky. And as Caleb is saying, she's here for about eight months. It varies from cycle to cycle. And then we have the underworld Venus and you can see that when 
Venus is in the with the sun. There's two times she's with the sun, and one time is when she's retrograde, and it's a very quick passage. And the other time is when she's on the other side of the sun. So you see the Earth, then the sun, then Venus. You know that's when Venus is on the other side of the sun in that longer death and rebirth phase of the journey where she's dying to who she has believed herself to be so she can be reborn to who she truly is. That is the main significance of the underworld cycle. And then here is what happens when she comes out of the underworld and she rises in the morning in the evening sky, right? So she becomes the evening star because she's moved far enough away from being on the other side of the sun where now we can see her again in the evening sky, right? So as the sun sets here in the west, Venus lights up in the evening sky and you can see and in a photograph here, Venus and the sun has already set and Venus is coming alive in the sky and she spends another approximate eight months in this phase. And then we have the metamorphic underworld. And so in the image we saw before, Venus was on the other side of the sun, which means she's there for a longer time. And in this image, we're seeing Venus between the earth and the sun, and it happens fast, sometimes within a day. That's kind of rare, but it does happen sometimes, usually seven to eight days. And she's going through a metamorphosis, shifting from one expression of the of the goddess or the feminine, the divine feminine to a new expression. So really significant time. And also the rarest of the whole Venus cycle is the rarest time. Yes. So here we have the Venus cycle putting all these four parts together, right? Venus, the cycle starts when Venus is the morning star. She descends into the other underworld, rises in the evening skies, evening star ascends, goes through that metamorphic underworld, and then the cycle starts again when she goes to the morning star again, right? So this is just putting the whole 19 month cycle together in one place for you. So good. I love those images. They're so good. <laughs> um, so the Venus cycle and the celestial mythology, uh, there are many stories about Venus but the ancient Sumerians, and this is where we model our work of the Venus cycle after this story of Inanna's descent into the underworld and her ascent. She descends, she goes through a death process and she ascends. And the story literally is describing what is happening to Venus as she goes through her morning star descent, her underworld two to three months with the sun, her evening star ascent. And so the whole Anana story is was developed as a way to uh, understand and work with the Venus cycle. Yes, amazing, right? So it's the descent of Anana from you know twenty five hundred BCE. These this myth written on the cuneiform tablets right here on the left, and this is an image of Anana, Sumerian Anana on the right. And so in the story, as Caleb is saying. Anana passes through seven gates as she descends into the underworld and then seven gates as she ascends back out of the underworld. So the descent is the morning star and the ascent is the evening star phases of the cycle. And it's a journey through the Venus gates and the chakras, right? That's the connection between these gates and the chakras. And just so something to be aware of is that as she's descending and going through the chakra, she starts at the crown chakra and moves down through all the chakras till she's in the underworld and going through a death process. And she's releasing distortions that are connected to those chakras. When she's coming up in the evening sky, she's coming up from the root chakra back up. So the descent is one way and the uh, ascent is the opposite way. And she's reclaiming the uh the things that she left she had to leave on her way into the underworld but now with it's a healthy relationship without the distortions mm. such a powerful journey to go through so here's just a couple images you can see of what this looks like in the sky right this is a literal thing where the moon comes together to meet with venus in the sky so here's the morning star venus with the moon at the earth star chakra 
on August 25th of 2022. You can see it. Such a great image. And uh, the the something to know is that when Venus is meeting with the moon in the morning sky, it's a waning moon losing light where she's losing her vestments and she's letting go. So the it's a perfect setup to to be in that process of releasing and letting go. Yes. Yeah, so this image is taken just, you know, a day, a couple of days before the actual new moon, right? And here it is over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in Colorado, right? It's a powerful thing to see. And that's the part where it like tunes us into that ancestral DNA, that way that our ancestors connected with the sky. And it's just, it, it, it brings an aliveness to your life that I just cannot even begin to describe. So here is a picture of the evening star Venus with the moon at the sacral chakra on June 11th of 2021. Do you mention that, that evening star, the moon is meeting with the waxing moon or the moon is gaining light or regain. So Venus is regaining her vestments now in a healthy way. So literally this cycle is so brilliant in terms of how it connects with how the Sumerians designed the story to describe what's going on with Venus as she's moving through the sky. Yes, right? So this picture is taken just days after the new moon when she's in the evening sky and the moon is just starting to grow. I mean, it's so perfect, the whole thing. It's just so amazing. And again, right, it's these beautiful sights that get us out into nature to connect with that and to connect with our divine feminine within and it is so powerful so if this is just a very brief introduction to the venus cycle and if you're you know turned on by this and you want to learn more then please have a look at venusalchemy.com